All right, so we're heading up today. I'm meeting up with Coyote Works and uh, Todd from Central Oregon Survival Network. Uh, they're supposed to be up here in the mountain somewhere. Uh, kind of just screwing around, building a shelter. So they gave me a little bit of directions. I couldn't get up here as early as they could. I had a little work to do this morning. So now I'm gonna try to see if I can hook up with them. All right guys, so I got up here, I cooked up. Uh, I got Casey with uh, Coyote Works Channel and I've got Todd with Central Oregon Survival Network with me and they're working on building a little shelter that they can uh, kind of utilize in and out um, for the year and, and just have a place that they can come up to and, and, and have something kind of already set up a little bit. So we're just gonna kind of dink around and work on this a little bit and I'll uh, kind of bring you guys in on it. So I was working my way through this log, just trying to make myself a little flat spot to work on. And it's uh, full of these little wood grubs. And I've ate a couple already. And they're really, really good. But this is a good find. I wasn't even looking for it, but I'll definitely kind of keep my eye out for this kind of stuff later in the future. Todd from Central Oregon Survival Network is on the inside of the shelter. How is it in there? How'd it come out? It's nice, very nice. You can feel the heat from the fire. Yeah, this would be a great spot. The overnighter's easy. Yeah. So our shelter's pretty much complete, and we just wanted to go over a couple of things about it. So this is what we consider an extreme cold weather shelter. This shelter is designed so that it'll take the heat from the fire and circulate it up into the shelter. So what's really important about that design is that the roof of the shelter slopes downward and forward towards the fire. That way the heat from the fire comes up inside the shelter and I'll demonstrate here what happens. So the heat from the fire hits the roof of the, of the shelter, it travels up the roof of the shelter and as that air cools, it drops down on top of you inside the shelter. So you get this convection effect inside the shelter. The traditional shelters where you just do a lean-to like this don't as efficiently heat. Heat tends to hit that shelter and then, as you guys know, heat rises. So heat wants to rise and move out of that shelter so it takes much more fire to efficiently heat a lean-to shelter. You switch that pitch of the roof, it takes a little bit more effort, but now it'll be really comfortable in there. That shelter you can sleep in in zero degrees and have, well, maybe not a super comfortable night, but be nice and comfortable. So what you putting together there, Todd? Well, this is the uh, bushcraft 
little grill I made or bush grill to bring out to uh, cook some steaks on. Now you have a video on that, right? That I do. When you when you built that, so yeah, I do. If somebody's interested in taking a look at how you put that together, they can yep. go check out your channel. Yep, they can go check out the channel. I got a video on it, and uh, basically, like I said, I just made it because I wanted to be able to, to cook out here, basically cook a steak. Um, I know there's other production grills out there, and they're kind of light duty. And I think this one's going to last me a long time, and it might be a little bit heavy, but uh, it works out really well. So we're gonna actually try this out i've actually only cooked water on it so far you know had a the pot on it so but now we've got some steaks some t-bones and we're going to throw them on there and see how it works pretty good sounds like a sizzling pretty good yeah. all right so i'm just munching on some steak here that todd brought up uh, using a little uh, community bushcraft fork that uh, Casey made and then I'm using uh, using my uh, well it's not actually mine it's a knife that William Collins uh, from William Collins ch channel uh, he's a knife maker he sent me this to try out I'm looking to buy a knife from him and so far I've been using this knife today and I really like it it's um, it's been really handy to use. I, I want to use it on a few more things, but uh, just around camp and stuff that I've used it, I've been really happy with it. I mean, and it's cutting through this steak like it's butter. All right, so we're packed up, we're heading out. We're gonna leave the shelter up. Uh, possibly we'll be back next weekend to actually do an overnight to kind of today was more about just kind of getting some setup done but uh, yeah it's a nice it's gonna be a nice setup and I think we're gonna enjoy uh, using this um, throughout the whole rest of the year so I hope you enjoyed us putting this together and um, you know if you want to check out some you know some other still photos and pictures and stuff that I'm gonna throw up check out my Facebook and uh, I'll throw up some still photos and things of the of what we did here as well. But anyways, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.